While addressing the General Assembly on the current state of the country's economy as the world is battling the COVID-19 pandemic, the Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Dr. Uziel Ndajirimana, noted that although the country's economy declined by 3.4 percent below zero in 2020, the country's GDP rose by 3.5 in the first quarter of 2021 and by 20 percent in the second quarter. The 100 billion run on francs economic recovery fund that was established to support the most affected businesses by COVID-19 has been utilized at 90% rate, which played a big role in boosting the country's economy. <laughs> This program started in June 2020. We wanted to assess the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on businesses in comparison with five months before the pandemic. Because the recovery funds were not enough, we wanted to help those who were strongly affected. Also, we wanted to prevent those who would use the pandemic to seek help. Yet even before the pandemic, the businesses were not stable. With the distribution of the 100 billion run on francs economic recovery fund, 141 hotels were given. 50 billion run on francs, 7.5 billion were channeled to the transport sector. Small and medium enterprises were given 10.3 billion run on francs, while 3,977 small business owners were given 3.8 billion run on francs. However, MPs expressed concern that there was an even distribution of the recovery funds. Oh, it looks like funds were distributed to big traders only. Uh, I want to know how the recovery fund helped or is going to help a casual worker or a fruit vendor in Nyabukogo market. To date, another 250 million US dollars, equivalent to 250 billion run francs, were added to the recovery fund. 150 billion run francs will be invested in creating new business projects to contribute to job creation and boost economic growth, according to Minister Uziel. Uh, the first set of funds were meant to help businesses stay on the right track, but currently we have the capacity to help affected businesses but also fund new and already existing investment projects so that uh, they can contribute to the country's economic recovery and growth, because that's what this recovery is meant for. Statistics by the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning also indicate that the country's GDP is projected at 10.2% this year, with a 7.2% growth in 2022, 7.9% in 2023, and 7.5% in 2024. According to the ministry, the implementation of the 2021-2022 budget has reached 99% and the details will be highlighted in the revised draft budget which will be announced this month.